How's it going guys? Cody guys back again dropping out another video. Right guys, I need to uh, thank Scouse Hallcroft uh, for sending me this story. Um, it's, he sent it me to earlier today to be honest. I would have seen it but he got it to me before I saw it. Uh, it's a story in the Liverpool Echo. Uh, prisoner fell to death from balcony on day of his release. Uh, I, I can't pronounce his name here. It's Mikhail Nechix. Um took his own life at Alt Cost Jail after learning the Home Office were removing him from the UK. A man who died in jail had packed his belongings up on the day of his release before he was hit with a shock deportation notice. Uh, Mikhail Netix, 35, had been serving a short sentence at Liverpool's Alt Cost Jail in Fazakali and was looking forward to getting back together with his girlfriend in North Wales. But on the very last day he was set to leave prison, he was given the news that uh, he was to remain behind bars and he was going to be removed from the UK due to Home Office deportation rules. On December the 7th last year, Mr Nettix jumped headfirst from the upper landing at Alt Course, leaving him with a fatal blunt force head injury which medics could not save him. An eight-day inquest has taken place at Liverpool uh, Coroner's Court into his death where a jury agreed the tragedy was in part contributed to by the immigration deportation process. Coroner Andrew Rebello, uh, Andre sorry, Rebello demanded lessons be learned by the Home Office and the Ministry of Justice and issued a report to prevent further deaths. Um, obviously HMP Alt Course is a Cat B's men prison in Fazakali in Liverpool. Uh, among the failings he identified that was foreign nationals liable for deportation have no access to legal advice, for example, through a duty lawyer scheme. They are not detained in an immigration centre. Mr. Rebello uh, also found that Mr. Natix was working and had a family life in Wales before his sentence, and it appeared unfair that he was required to provide evidence of this whilst in prison when the Home Office could have easily checked with Her Majesty's Revenue and Customs or his employer. Um, the inmate had been jailed for just one week for breaching a restraining order, but he had been in the UK for 12 years and had a job working at a dairies company in Wrexham. During the inquest, Mr. Rebello said the Home Office disclosed partially redate, uh, redacted sorry, notes which indicated the records had been deleted by senior management. With coroners finding this needs investigations and explanation as it affects to manipulate statistics, it appears to be almost a denial of the facts. Finally, he ruled that prison officers required to serve papers rela related sorry, to deportation would be more effective if they were provided with a training package, making them aware of the deportation process by the Home Office. Mr Natix was the 11th immigration detainee day day to die nationally in 2017. Alt-course prison design will be reviewed by the government officials and the provision of safety nettings and railings to be considered. Arthur Natix, Michael's brother, told the Echo, I miss my brother daily and the inquest has been a difficult time. However, we are glad we have been given some answers now for for now, sorry, whether there could be more done to help my brother. When Mikkel turned to the UK, he was a young man full of faith and hope for a better future. Unfortunately, right before his incarceration, his life had hit a rough patch, which resulted in being sentenced to a short imprisonment at Alt Course Prison. A year on from Mikkel's death, the family remains devastated by our loss. We find it worrying there has been so many immigration detainees deaths in the same year. Oliver Carter, the public law specialist at Irwin Mitchell representing the family, said the inquest has been a deeply emotional for Mikkel's family. Hearing about his final hours and reliving their devastating loss has been traumatising and upsetting. The jury heard that Mikkel was looking forward to being released from prison on the 7th of December 2017, restarting his life in the UK and his relationship with his partner. Unfortunately, he was told on the morning that the Home Office would be detaining him beyond his release date. The jury heard that Mikkel was told he would be removed from the UK, but he is unlikely to have understood that he had a right to appeal the decision to deport him. The documents from the Home Office were provided to him in English, and the immigration officer was present in the prison the day, that day and did not speak to Mikkel. We know Mikkel found it difficult to assess uh, specialist legal advice to appeal against deportation, but with advice from immigration lawyer, he could have proved to the Home Office that he'd been living and working in the UK for 12 years and that he should not have been deported. Tragically, just hours after being told that he would have been released, Michael jumped from the first floor landing in the prison and suffered a facial head injury. While nothing will change um, what they have been through, the inquest raised important points regarding the support Mikkel was given 
uh, after you receive the paperwork from the Home Office. Hopefully these lessons will be learned not just here but nationally too. We'll continue to work with uh, Mikhail's family and ensure they receive the support they need. A Home Office spokesperson said we'd like to express our condolences and the fr to the friends of um, and family of Mr Nikas. Uh, the Home Office is committed increased in transparency around those held in detention and in November 2018 began publishing data on deaths in immigration removal centres. We committed to extending that level of transparency to all those in immigration detention. However, given that the very sensitive nature of the information and low numbers reported, it is imperative that we ensure absolute certainty on figures before they are published. So um, there's pictures here of Mikkel. Uh, God bless him, may rest in peace. One week in prison, guys. We're sentenced to seven days in prison. Seven days. Absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely. A week in prison for what? For right, breaching restraining order. By jailing him for a week, does that is that gonna solve the problem long term? Absolutely not. Um stupid, stupid jail sentence, guys. Like I said, I've been in prison with people for murder, I've been in prison with armed robbers, I've been in prison with people that have broken restraining orders, um, have not paid parking fines or council tax. Um short sentences are counterproductive. And then this man had lived and worked in the UK for 12 years. The name sounds Dutch or European, uh, Polish, European. I'm not sure, Mr. N Michael, Mikkel, N-E-T-Y-K-S, Neeks. Um, threw himself off the balcony, guys. Just imagine that. You think you're going home. You packed all your stuff up. You, they pop your door. They give you a notice saying you're going to be deported from the country um, by the Home Office under deportation rules. Um, this man had lived here, worked here, paid tax here for 12 years, had a missus in North Wales, God bless him. Um, must have gone out for soul and just threw himself head first off the landing. Uh, there's a picture of the wing at the start of the video. Um, I've seen someone throw themselves off head first at uh, Forest Bank. Uh, he was a sex offender guy, so it was a shame they actually pulled through that one. This Mike, uh, Mikhail Nettis is not... Uh, he was in for breach and restraining order by all accounts. Um, sad and tragic death. Um, God bless him. May he rest in peace. My thoughts and prayers with your friends and family a year on. Um, this is a man that should have left prison and carried on with his life. Not a criminal. Yes, he broke a restraining order, but he's not a criminal. Shouldn't have been in prison. Um, and if he'd not been in prison, this wouldn't have happened. Sad, tragic guys and lessons need to be learned, but... The system's as broken as those entering it. I'm going to leave it there, guys. Uh, my thoughts and prayers with Mikhail's family. God bless him. May rest in peace. You can see pictures of him at the start. Uh, no disrespectful comments, please, guys. Uh, going to leave it there. Like, comment, subscribe. Cody out.